Now for some more perspective on this severe set of storms, Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth and Hallie Vogel from our 7 First Alert weather team are here to help us answer some questions. So Dave, I'll start with you. What made this storm so powerful? Uh, good question, Mike, because it's stronger than normal, right? We had a warm front that focused a lot of energy, especially in the southwest part of the state. The little bump show you which direction it's going, and south of that is where all the extra energy is. You can see the storms flared up there, and then as they went farther north into the stable air, they became just more rain. So you need ingredients to get a storm to come together. You need moisture. You need strong wind fields. You need wind shear. That can be directional shear, different directions at different heights or different speeds in the wind as we go along and then instability think of that as the buoyancy the ability to get things started and keep them going up well not only behind that warm front in the southwest part of the state when we didn't get behind it they had not only all those ingredients but they were all very very strong and we talked about leading up to this the concern that in that area would be the focus for the storms and look at all the problems here including the tornadoes a lot of bigger hail in that region and again not much we did have the one spot in Harrison Township uh, north of the front here but certainly south of the front that's why all those ingredients came together Mike and made a big recipe for strong storms all right, yep, definitely all those ingredients were there. Now, Hallie, the National Weather Service issued Michigan's first tornado emergency. Can you actually explain what that is? I know, I think we do need to explain. Many folks never even heard of a tornado emergency until last night, so we want to clarify. Fairly new, I would say, since 1999, the first one issued in Oklahoma City for a particularly destructive tornado. Since then, officially 199 tornado emergencies have been issued. So it is very rare for these to be issued. So rare, in fact, like you said, Mike, this is the first we've ever had here in Michigan. Union City experiencing baseball to softball size hail during this particular storm. And again, we look at why they issue it and the parameters for issuing a tornado emergency. So we're talking about conditions that are a severe threat to human life and imminent is imminent or ongoing. Remember, a watch is issued when conditions are favorable. The west side of the state experienced that. And then we have tornado warnings, meaning take cover. Tornado may be indicated by a spotter or on radar. We're going to the highest level above that, and we're talking about a tornado emergency. Highest level in this category means catastrophic damage is either imminent or ongoing, and that tornado is confirmed, whether it's visually, again, maybe by a trained spotter, or by radar. We call that a debris ball signature that's showing on the radar. So we always want you to take every warning seriously. A tornado warning, of course, those are more familiar, but this one, again, exceeding that at the highest level. And again, so rare, we've never had it before, Mike. Yeah, definitely scary no matter which way you cut it. Now, Dave, tornadoes cause most of the damage right here in Portage, but straight lined winds cause the damage in Harrison Township. Can you explain that difference to us? Yeah, the, the, the information was very, very evident on the radar. Now, some people saw this appendage on the south side of the storm and said, well, it looks like a tornado signature, and it kind of sort of does on this particular reflectivity. But this was about an outflow coming together with a gravity wave, which is another outflow that kind of clashed together. This quick uh, acceleration of the winds through the area. You can see here's Harrison, and what I put on here, the blue areas, are the uh, shear. Well, again, we talked about those different winds, and so it left behind problems and damage in this area pretty isolated, and then it moved on and did something similar in southern St. Clair County. So straight line winds are the strong flow out of the thunderstorm. Very strong evidence that that's what this was last night in Harrison Township, rather than the rotational winds in a tornado. These can be bad. These can be a problem like they were in Harrison Township, but usually the tornado winds are a bigger and a greater concern. Okay, Dave and Hallie, so much I didn't know I didn't know. Thank you both so much.